In a big boost to New Delhi's military prowess, India has successfully carried out the night trial of the Agni-5 nuclear-capable ballistic missile, which can hit targets beyond 5,400 kilometers. The Defence Ministry confirmed the night test on Thursday. They said that the test was carried out to validate new technologies and equipment on the missile and has proved that the missile can now hit targets further away than before. The nuclear-capable ballistic missile was fired from Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. With its reach, the Agni-5 can easily reach mainland Chinese cities, including Beijing. Sources in the Defense Ministry have called it a routine test. This is the ninth flight of the Agni-5, a missile which was first tested in 2012. The latest test comes days after the recent clash between Indian and Chinese troops in Arunachal Pradesh. While the test was carried out days after the incident, it had been planned earlier. India had well in advance its uh, intention to test a long-range missile. It also issued a notice to the airmen regarding the test well before the Tawang incident. Now, for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report from Chennai. Listen in. In the evening hours of Thursday, India conducted a very significant missile test. It is regarded as the most significant missile test that India has conducted in its history because of the fact that it is widely regarded that Agni-5 or India's most powerful missile was launched. Agni-5 is said to have a capability of, you know, hitting targets at a range of 5,000 to 5,500 kilometers, which almost puts it into the entry-level category of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which is the highest end of missiles in operation in the world. We'll have to remember that this test was carried out uh, at night and it is said to be successful. And such a test is very significant because it validates a country's capability to uh, launch nuclear missiles. And India, of course, is a country capable of uh, launching nuclear missiles from three platforms. It is known widely as the nuclear triad, which means the capability to launch nuclear missiles from um, aircraft, nuclear weapons from land platform via missiles, and also to have nuclear capability to be launched from submarines and ships. So this not only validates India's capability, but also proves the technology of very crucial systems. At the same time, we must tell you that such a missile test is not done in isolation. There is a lot of preparation that goes into the making. It's not just the missile being fired. There's a lot of ships and vessels and technical equipment that are placed along the flight path of this um, uh, missile. And there is a lot of tracking and telemetry that is done from seaborne platforms and they actually minutely watch the missile in immense detail to understand the technical parameters, the flight path, the altitude, the speed and so on. And this is what will actually finally determine the outcome of this mission. And certainly this is a missile that is under the Strategic Forces Command of India, which is in charge of the nuclear weapons and weapons delivery platforms. So this test of obviously was conducted with uh, you know the uh, uh, approvals from the highest levels and this goes on to validate India's uh, nuclear triad. However, it must be remembered that India is a country that has a nuclear no-first-use policy, which means that if India launches a nuclear weapon, it will only be in retaliation. Of course, we'll also have to wait for further details from official uh, defense ministry and uh, you know spokespersons of DRDO to understand the technical parameters of the missile and the significance of this test. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP. We on World is One. We 